they wait for the lights to go out. The revs are building. Let's go racing. Six laps. Uh, it definitely, there was numerous strategies in Div One uh, play out. You got people that did a one stop. Uh, there is no mandatory tire, so it purely is drive what you think is fastest. Yeah, uh, whatever you think is fastest. As well. Yeah, whatever you think is fastest, and whatever you're more comfortable on. So, I think a majority will do the one stop. Um, depending on how your tire wear is, some people may try to do uh, soft, soft and split it down the middle. Uh, I think a majority will be doing a medium soft split. And then maybe one or two people do an all hards with no stop. But not too sure whether that will play out or not. Uh, I reckon go with uh, Viper P6. Let's do it. So. They're being held. One lights, two lights, three lights, four lights, five lights, and away we go. So everyone looks like they've got off the line, all right? No jump starts. And let's see how this plays out. So Viper's just tucking in there. Nice early shift. Uh, yep, you showed nice caution. Uh, the eels bounce around a bit, which has caused a bit of a issue there, but everyone looks through okay. Steph go on the inside of Brutal there. Um, so he's made up that position there. Oh the no. And then Hodes follows through. There has I've been carnage. Yeah, there's four or five wide here. I don't know what's going Armin's, on up here. Something happened with Armin's and then he's checked everybody up behind him. So once this pack settles down a little bit, I might flick to a replay and see if... Oh, Brutal's no. absolutely centered. <laughs> Troy, Troy, yeah, and I don't know if that's caused Troy to then contact Wrestler, who's now off, but... I'm not sure. Brutals just went from 10th or 11th to 7th. <laughs> yeah, and it looks like there was a bit of contact between Troy and Wrestler after that, but we might go to the replay on Armands and see kind of what's happened here. I think with that contact too, it actually opened up the hole for Brutal to dive into. <laughs> so, so Armands has spun it at turn 2. And then, yeah, it's just the pack's got nowhere to go. Sending yeah. up four wide into turn three. So I'm looking at uh, Con here is behind the eel. And he's given him one or two bumps, and he's bumped him off at the last corner there, and he's redressing nicely. Um, but Almonds is looking to take advantage of all that. <gasps> ah, wrestler uh, and, tr not wrestler and Troy. It might have actually been Wrestler maybe squeezing Troy a little bit on the outside. So it's a bit unfortunate. Okay. Sorry, I'm, we're back. We're back to live footage. Oh no, there's a TDR car. All out of shape. So that... Ex I missed... I'm not sure if I was just out in my own world, but wrestler down in 12th now. 10 seconds off. Yeah, so coming up to the left hand before Captain's kink, he had Troy with a bit of an overlap on the outside and I think Wrestler just tried to take the racing line and a slight bit of contact. Um, basically he's turned right in the fence instead of turning left where the track goes so yeah a bit, bit unfortunate there. Well, I don't like to pull out do they? <laughs> in Div 2 apparently tonight. Um, words of Stefko, he said Laguna Seca likes to bring out the best and worst of everyone. Um, just jumped on board with Spoke and he has got a 0.5 second penalty so um, he's got a gap to con there of 1.6 seconds. 
So that should be fine there, he should have that gap covered. So the penalty zone, burn zone here for Gran Turismo is on the pitch straight. Just after you're getting on the throttle, so it only kind of just delays you getting on the throttle. It's a half second penalty, you probably lose one, one to 1 1.5 seconds um, overall. Um, but Spokes just had that and he's, um, yeah, so now Con's right up back behind him and he would have seen the purple go up for, oh, which Troy's now got, but Con did have it for a second. Um, he would have been like, oh god, here we go. But Spoke is on the mediums. So realistically, he's in the best spot in this race, bar, you know, depending on how Stefko goes with the hards, because I believe he's the only one on hards. Um, but if Spoke can keep these guys on the sauce behind him, um, then he's just going to be laughing towards the end of the race, I think. You got Troy and oh, that's yeah. Armin's trying to leave his nose in there at the kink. That's lucky none of them two didn't end up both in the fence. Uh, which has checked everyone else up behind. I'm not sure if Brutal's got a brake issue. Um. It's just before, I'm not sure if he was doing indications to maybe Hodes being a bit behind him or whatnot. And Viper with the massive dive takes out his own teammate. Um, oh no. Redressing. <laughs> yeah, redressing up the inside there. Stefko's going to get the run on them though. Yeah, well, see, all this time Stefko's. Like, he's on the hards. He's in ninth. Um, may not look that great on paper, but. These, all these guys ahead of him should be pulling away. He's, he's only eight seconds behind the, the leader at yeah. this point. So if they're not pulling away from him, like, if he can just even just stay with them, that's the big pro. Because all these people are going to have to You'll probably get, what, lap 11, 12 for the guys on the softs, uh, lap 14, 15. Sorry about that technical difficulty there. I just had to change a bit of a setting and we're back. Sorry, boys. It's all right. Don't give the stream a dislike. Make sure you give it a like. Give it a big <laughs> thumbs up. Uh, it's free. It doesn't cost you to press the like button. It does promote the league. It does get the video out there more in the YouTube world. So make sure you give it a like. Um, all right, we got... So Spoke still at a 1.2 second lead. Um, so he's just increased that gap ever so slightly on Con. Uh, Eel is about 0.8 of a second back from Con. Um, and then Troy about another 0.7 or so back. But Troy is doing a 28.8 uh, purple lap. So he's got Eel in his radar. Uh, further back there you got Palmer and Hodes. There's a little battle between... And then you got the battle of Almonds. Uh, brutal. Yeah, well, it's basically the rest of the field bar wrestler so small train is turning into a, a longer train this time uh, Almonds is oh, went white again this? went to defend Brutals went to put his nose on the outside and got a little bit of a tap from Almonds but yeah definitely action in Div 2 tonight yeah looks like Palmer's <laughs> made a move up when Hood's up ahead Howdy to uh, Zoo and Apex in the chat as well. Armand and Brutal side by side again, coming up into the corkscrew. Brutal around the outside. Oh, <laughs> not sure if that's cut the corner just enough to warrant a penalty, but Steph goes like, thank you very much. I'll take eighth off you. Yeah, there's definitely no love lost at the back of the, or the, from the middle pack all the way back. It's yeah. Oh no, Vipers! Oh, shows the nose on Brutal. Get this oh, yellow, flag, a yellow flag. Troy around. Um, so what was he? He was up near Eel, so he's lost a lot of time. Yeah, I'm gonna jump on board on a replay and see what's kind of going on there. 
So yeah, he's coming up the final corner. He's not really making a move or kneel. Down to first, takes the corner quite nicely and just... Yeah, over rotated too early on the power and straight into the fence. Very easy to do. So Stefko, he's up into seventh now. He's got the two Fanger drivers right on his tail. He's on hard. He's only 10 and a half seconds behind the leader and it is a 30 second pit stop. So if those leaders are on softs, they will be coming in probably then at the end of lap 10. Maybe end of lap 12, depending on how the tire wear is for them. Well, you hope that, say, Brutal, he goes, all right, Stefko, as we see a Drive 25 driver, Palmer, has gone off at the kink. And, oh, I thought he was going to come side there and wipe the fangit drivers out. Um, but he's managed to not hit anyone, which is a well controlled, I suppose, at the end of the day. Yeah, good save. But, you know, you're hopping in Brutal shoes here. You go, Stefko was... Easily quicker by half a second or so on the, the mediums in the race before. If I'm keeping with him, surely he must be on a different tyre compound, so... Oh no, <sighs> what's happened? And... Viper's oh, just... That's a common theme happening here, Viper in that last corner. Yeah, Steph gives him the flash of the hazards to go. Uh, what the hell? Because <laughs> um, that... Like, Stefko doesn't want to be involved with any incidents. Viper just... Nearly... Nearly... <laughs> Viper needs to pull it back here. Um, it's all good running nice and deep and putting pressure on, but you don't want to ruin other people's races. And yeah, Stefko, I don't know how he didn't get turned around on that last corner, so... Oh, he's a bit wide here, though. Two tyres in the dirt. Vipers will have to run in the easy pass. Brutal yeah, May. Yeah, no, I believe if like... Stefko being the hard racer, you know, he's... Probably not enjoying that from Viper. It might be in the back of his mind there, so... But, so easy to do. But, yeah. It's alright, he's uh, survived it. He's got Brutal behind him now. But Sefi will be trying to keep up with uh, with Viper's fang now and kind of see where everything plays out. Brutal... Oh, shoots the nose into the... Boss is... Yeah, Boss is just having to defend from Troy into the, the corkscrew as well. Whilst maintaining his... Uh, he's on his... PB at the moment for his lap. So the battle's coming up behind. So what, you look, Steph goes 12, 13 seconds off the lead. Pit stop here is roughly, what, 35 seconds or so, actual loss. Yeah. So, he's still in good position, he just needs to hope that one brutal stays behind. But if he does get past, it's not the end of the day either, so... Oh, <laughs> this Bozza Troy action. Bozza goes a bit deep, keeps Troy behind him. Gets very, very close, but look, something's happening up here. Vipers and Almonds. Vipers is, is Vipers on softs? I've got to ask that. He's looking very racy. There's a uh, racy and then there's aggressive. Yeah, <laughs> it's... Is, is he on softs though, or is he also yeah, on the Yeah, he's showing softs on my screen, so I'm not sure what yours shows, but... Oh yeah, I haven't got it um, displayed. Uh, but Almond's on mediums. Uh, yeah, Steph going hard. Yeah, Brutal mediums. Troy, Bozza. Yeah, the rest of the rear are all on mediums. Um, but TDR splitting their strategy. I've just, it's just clicked on me here. you got Spoke that's out in the lead. Starting in the front of the grid there. He's on mediums. He's got... A 0.8 second to con, so they're, you know, trading um, times by 0 0.1, 0 0.2 of a second each way. Um, but Spoke's in prime position there because he's on the mediums, whilst Con is on the softs. So Spoke's driving really well here for Spoke, um, but I'm just not sure. I know if I go flat out, I don't get 26 laps uh, around here. So, yeah. Spoke being in auto, I'm not sure if you get 26. He could be cutting up uh, fine. I know he's a splash, yeah. Yeah, I know he's not as quick as some of the Div 1 drivers, um, which may help him there, but yeah, like this this car suits Spoke, and it's good to see him up the front. I think he's had a few, few battles this season already, and yeah, it's good to see him up there. 
and um, Con, yeah, filling in again, doing a great job there as well. Um, the next one on mediums is Slippery Eel, and for the the good of the rest of the other cars in the in the lobby, he's uh, by himself at the moment, so he's not causing <laughs> issues to anyone. Um, and then you got Hodes that's had a questionable start to the season. I know he's not happy with himself um, with some of the mistakes he's made, but he's trying to learn and. He's one of our D3 promotion, um, promoted drivers. So he's on softs there, cutting his way through the field. He's probably got, yeah, I'd say two laps left of tyres. Mm -hmm. He holds fastest lap right now, and he is, he was purple by about three tenths at sector two as well. So we'll see if this can tumble down a bit further. Yeah, 28 yes. to three, he takes three tenths out of it, nice job. And then, so Gohan's just actually made it past Broken Spoke there at T1. Spoke's a bit wide on the exit. So yeah, Con will just kind of blaze away now for the next lap or two before he has to come in. Yeah, this uh, just the action just is not stopping from sixth down to tenth, I reckon, uh, <laughs> even eleventh. It just hasn't stopped the whole time. Like Wrestle was twelve seconds behind, I think. And he's caught up about seven seconds on those guys, so he's just got to slowly chip away. Um, Stefko White again allows Brutal to make the move. Yeah, but again, it's not the it's be not the all and end all there. Yeah, so yeah. He's only he hasn't he's only lost a second in the last what since I mentioned it last time two laps ago. Yeah. Um, to the leaders there, and Almonds has come off. Can he keep the car under control? Yep, yeah, nicely, nicely done there, Almonds. Not for the crashing part, but yeah. It's, it's definitely easy when you go off there on Captain's Kink in the sand to lose complete control of the car and come across and wipe out any cars that are coming through, so. Oh, for sure. But now he's got Palmer all over the back of him. So, Palmer, mediums, oh, mediums. Oh, he's gone for it. There's yeah, nice battle. We'll stay on board here. Yeah, yeah, the tyres take a little while to clean up, especially around here, so. Yeah, Armand's is still he's got to be feeling it right now. The yeah, the starts to pick up the T1. Yeah, nice move, Palmer. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice move, Palmer. Armand's is not done yet, though. He's shot on the nose a bit yeah. too far back. As I said, then, there's no uh, love lost here in Div 2 tonight. Oh. Troy's made it past Stefko as well. Opens the door for Bozza to try and make an attacking move as well. But yet, yeah, Troy's. I think when um, they learn that Stefko is on hards here, they're going to be going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're in, I'm in danger. So I think Troy's redressed there, so I don't know if there might have been a bit of contact for him to get the move done in the first place. Yeah, but... I just. Stefko just flashed his hazards as well, maybe as a, a little thank you there. So again, nice sportsmanship from those two if that was the scenario. Um, so we're not quite at the halfway point here, but we're looking at any of the soft runners uh, could pit from now on. And as I had said that, I hop on with Con, who's in first. So he's jumped spoke, but he just went nice and deep uh, into the last corner. So he's literally on... Uh, a bit of paper, paper thickness with a the tyre there on the, the front right, so it's one or two percent left. And you got Eel closing and in as well. Yeah, lap t we're on lap 12 now, and you know, Con's at about 60 percent fuel. Um, Spokes got a little bit more actually, which is surprising being Spokes in auto. Um, still don't know how he goes so quick, Spoke. Um, and Slippery Eel's now joined that that queue so the gaps that were you know one 1.5 seconds each way there is now coming right down so spokes mediums are oh probably one lap as well left of tread uh but now we've got con with zero zero tire left <laughs> on his front right so i think con will be in this lap he just needs to keep it nice and uh pull pull it up into the corkscrew keep it straight and narrow for the rest of this lap and that'll be pitting at the end of lap 12, so that'll give him uh, 14, 14 laps on the mediums. You got Spoke that's got 5% on his front right, if that. 
and Slippery Eel has got the best of the tyre situation. Con's going around again. Cod needs to make it to the halfway mark by the sound of it. Yeah, that's um, questionable. Hodes is in, so he's the first, to, first person to pit. Vipers follows him. Yeah, well look at that, so Con a 131.0. Your medium time's surely quicker than that. And you've got cool attempts with a low, lesser fuel load, so if you can do 12 on softs, then your, your 14s on mediums would be a no-brainer to make. So um, well, the tyres will yeah, make that distance, no no issues there. But yeah, he'll keep this battle up. Uh, maybe he thinks he's on the same tyres as Spoke. You never know. Yeah, quite and, possibly. And uh, Slippery Hill's just got a... Nice watching, or oh, nice show ahead of him. Uh, yeah. The battle goes on for first here. Spoke trying to go around the outside. And they get through Spots there nicely. Spoke's in. got the run. Does he have enough of an overlap to wish to give the position? No, yeah, he nice lifts. Spoke. He just, yeah, he lifts nicely. Lifts the fight another day. Nice racing IQ there. Yeah, unless you're right up the inside, it's kind of a, a no-win battle there. You're either going to take both of each other out, or you're both going to get through, so... So let's see if they go in this lap. Con's in. Spoke. I thought he was going to follow there for a sec. I'm not sure it was a bit of lag or not, but... He's going around again. So that'll promote Stefko up into fourth spot after so Con's pit. So Cons will have roughly five or six percent left fuel at the end on his current um, yeah. fuel figures um, as we start lap 14 here. So just past the halfway point. This isn't Spokes helping Stefko right now. Stefko's Stefko's gained. So they they, they did the 32.8 for Spoke last lap. So Stefko gained 2.6 seconds alone in that one lap, so they're going to be about 20 odd seconds behind Stefko when they come out of the pits. Bozza though, Bozza's, is Bozza, no he hasn't pitted, that's Hodes that's pitted, hey, so Bozza's right behind Stefko right now, so yeah, he'll be about another 30 seconds behind him coming out there too. So it's cycling I through I think this is the first part of the race where drivers are actually it's calmed down and it's a bit more of a get your flow going, yeah. put in some good solid so consistent numbers and then do your pit stop and then see if you pop out and then see how mm -hmm. how much you push from there or how little you push depending so, on how you're going. So. So, so in ninth and 10th, Hodes has actually got the undercut done on Con. So he's come out in ninth, Con's in 10th. I'm Hodes just was, he was up a in good fourth, few seconds back, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, but those last couple of laps from Con on the one, one tyre has really, really hurt him, I think. So I'm just not sure if Hodes has done soft softs or if he's back on the mediums. And if Con's on softs, could be in a bit of trouble here um, as the stint wears on. Yeah, so the massive undercut, but also track position is key here. Um, yeah, we've seen people get their, their shoulders out, but track position it's it's hard to follow hard to pass um, as we see everyone else in at the moment mm -hmm. so spoke no fuel um, brutals going yep no fuel on the softs so yeah. spoke and brutal on the softs so who's has jumped them all yep he's now just waiting for a heel and Mozart. softs again no fuel and wrestler mediums on the softs Armands, I'm assuming mediums to softs as well yeah, that's what I'd Armin's expect as medium well. to mediums? I don't think he was on the softs unless my... Um... No, he may have a bit of tyre wear um, issues getting yeah, like the softs to last a, long enough. Yeah, not a bad decision. He might be just playing a bit safer. Um, he has a so nice... He... Nice... Uh, Tail slapper there on turn two, getting those tyres up the temperature. So that's the thing with the mediums, they take that, uh, you know, a lap or two to warm up as well. Not quite as yeah. bad as the hard, so. And uh, we've got the two guys in the front in now, so Slippery Hill um, and Bozza 
in. So that leaves Stefko with um, first place here. So we'll see what the gap is once it all settles down and uh, see if these guys on the softer compounds and Stefko can, uh, you know, wheel him in. Yes, 17 seconds back to hold. So Stefko's doing low 30s at the moment quite comfortably. So with 11 it's... laps to go, these guys definitely need to be doing 29s at best. Yeah. Sorry, at worst, like... sorry. I was going to say 28 every lap, so 2 seconds a lap, over 10, 11 laps, 20 seconds, you know, quick mass, yeah. um, should wheel that in, but and then, but if you get to that last lap or two and you've got no tyres left on yourself, so it's a matter of making, um, do you go out and your first lap or two on your softs, you're just a little bit gentle on them, so they last, or do you go um, all guns blazing and just try and chase down that figure but then again that this track you know one one tire wide and you lose four or five seconds because dirty tires and yeah as i said it hoses right next to the edge of the track <laughs> <laughs> use it all up open the steering up a little bit change on the tires if you're confident do it so yeah he's already down to 16 behind steph code now so he is reeling it in a little bit and i think this is the section coming down where where you'll gain a little bit more as well yeah, I know when I was, I went a bit too, yeah, oh, too hot initially, um, which almost cost me in the end, but, so if, yeah, if Hodes just does nice 28, so it's sector three, those, those longer left-handers mm -hmm. are the ones where the times come down. So like Captain's Kink, the hards are a bit, uh, you have to definitely back right out of, and then yeah, that third last corner, you can get about half a second or so even just there on the hard runners. Turn one as well, double apex. Uh, you can see it coming through. So yes, it's it? down to fifteen point five. Chance. So what was it? Eighteen, roughly about eighteen on the dot, wasn't it? So we'll yeah. keep an eye on it. It was um fifteen seven at the start of this lap. So down to fifteen twos now. Spokes getting a little bit. Wild in the background there. Slippery eels now going to try close the door. He's only three seconds back. We've got Brutal a further 2.3. It's a bit of a spread out field now. Troy's in seventh. Viper's two behind him. He's got Bozza hot on his yeah, heels had, now. Uh, you know, 20, 25 laps of racing and it's finally calmed down. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope the guys uh, and girls watching at home, it's been entertaining. Apologies, oh. we don't have another commentator, so you have to listen to the dulcet tones of Seckers and Dale. Yeah, it's a, for me, it's a voice for silent movies, I think. So, yeah, Bozza <laughs> gets the job done on Viper's fading into the corkscrew, so there's one more position up there. And I think next in line is Wrestler trying to reel him in two and a half behind. So, Wrestler's actually hit the purple, 27 7. That's a cracking lap. Uh, so the problem for Wrestler though is everyone ahead of him is uh, on the softs as well, basically, except Troy. So, um, oh. so the, it's all on outright pace now and who can make the tyres last. Mm -hmm. um, yes, great work to get back into a, a, at least a position where he was with the crowd, because at that one point where he was, what, 12 seconds behind everyone, so... Oh yeah. Great work, Wrestler. So Hodes is now 15, 13 seconds flat. Behind Stefko, 12-7. Yeah, that left-hander before Captain's Kink. Another four-tenths through that corner. He's yeah, and watch it, like driving that, that target. Third last corner there too. Is, um, watch that gap come down. Uh, you got Almonds with a one-second penalty. So he must be copying me. I've got a couple of penalties tonight. <laughs> um, very easy to do on this track. Yeah, that corkscrew. So keeping Hodes honest though. Is like Con sticking with Hodes again. Con div three driver. What tyres is he on though? Is this a soft first medium? So Con's on softs. Um, Hodes is on soft as well. Oh, so Hodes there. is on softs too. Okay. And Con's got you know five percent all round better tyre wear. So. Mm, there's actually a couple laps. So it was the undercut for Hodes to get him in the spot, but it is a big gamble doing the undercut on softs. So yeah, it's early reward versus the last few laps may. The only Maybe thing I'd say here is you got the softs depleting, 
but also Steph going on his hards. They're not as good as what I thought they would be, but that's probably due to all the battling um, that he had to, you know, withstand the barrage of guys on top of the tyres. And <laughs> yes, because <laughs> um, his front right's down to you know twenty five percent right now, and you still got seven laps, eight laps, or seven and a half laps to go. So he, even he may get down to zero tread. And I think zero tread on softs is going to be a bit better than zero tread on hards. Yeah, you, you can see how cautious he's being through even the course through then. Okay. Yeah, we're just from all the Yeah. I'm going to call it early here. If Con keeps it straight, I'm thinking Con might have a good battle with Hodes then if they catch Stefko at the end. Might, might come down to like a last lap battle between the three of them. But Con's in a very nice position here, in terms of tyre wear, and just holding Hodes, you know, one second off. Yeah, let um, Hodes do the work, just Hodes. try. Definitely look, I think that's what I'd do there too, just let Hodes do the work, see the gaps closing to Steph Co and just kind of try, keep up with him and stick with it, leave it to the end, no need to battle now. Yes, that's one of those things, what, do you keep Hodes, like, do you keep, if you know you've got pace on him, and you're not pushing it 100%, do you just leave it the gap about 0.9 so Hoad doesn't feel under pressure. Drag each other towards Stefko and then once you get Stefko, then fight? I think I think that's the way, I mean if you get a little bit closer and just say it's you know coming out of the final quarter down the front straight, just do a bump draft to kind of send the message, hey just I'm, I'm gonna stick here to just reassure them. Um, you know the goal is let's get Stefko. We can uh, sort sort ourselves out once we get past him. Yeah, just having a quick look through the rest of the field, and Wrestler's gone onto the back of Viper now. Um, so it's about 0.6 of a second here. Viper, yeah, missing his uh, apex there. So they're coming up to the kink, so I think this is the next little battle here. We've seen Viper be aggressive uh, so far in this race. So, not sure, you know, Wrestler's got outright pace, but. I don't think Viper's going to make it easy for him at all. No, definitely not. So it's going to be interesting. Another lap, so he'll probably get right on the back. Maybe in a spot to challenge. Well, do we hop on board? Maybe Wrestler. We are. Yeah, yeah. We're uh, on board with Wrestler now. lovely sunset there too. In the background. Oh, and there's and a that's drive it. 25. Troy's Troy. one ahead. So Boz has moved up to 7th now. Yeah. Viper's is to 8th and the, Wrestler to 9. The fatigue coming in for Troy maybe. It is really hard. Give credit where credit's due for anyone that backs up and does basically three hours straight of racing. You're getting to right towards the end of it. Yeah, um, especially this track and this car. Yeah, but I reckon we yeah, stay on board with Wrestle here. And, uh, maybe. I reckon got a bit wide there, not too sure. He's got the run, but he's on the wrong side, so he's going to have to back off into this right hand of it. Now, Viper takes the racing line, so yeah, not really a track opportunity. Keep flow going. He's got the oh, run. He's He's yeah, up. you've got the yeah. position. Don't cut his nose off. Yeah, that's alright. No. Don't go too wide. <laughs> Can we see it in the mirror? We can't. So mind. they're both... Yeah, so they're both on soft tyres, so it's an equal battle here. Uh, so Wrestler's got that move done, so he's hoping to... Yeah, does a little down to up gear shift change. You've taught them well. learning. <laughs> Doesn't work all the time. <laughs> so yeah, let's see if yeah, he can gain so the driving nice here. and smooth, and he's put that 0.7 already on Viper there. So good move, Ressa. We'll uh, we'll jump off you <laughs> and let you uh, stay nice and consistent there. Um, so Boz is his next target, three and a half seconds up the road. So not sure if he'll make that. Um, but then teammates as well. So seventh and eighth is uh, better than what the, some of these boys Ooh. have been. We've missed something lately. total. Stefko's Stefko's had an off. He's done a 139 the last lap and he is in third. Oh, see, that's what I was saying before. It's so easy to make a mistake as well around here. Uh, but his front right's are down to 10%. So I reckon that battle, uh, battling earlier, has really hurt his mm -hmm. his tyres. I'm not sure what, so, say, some of the few of the guys ran TDR, guys ran hards. Uh, I'm not sure what their tyre wear was like towards the end of the race. Um, 
but I wonder if it's a tie wear issue or yeah, you never know. You never know, but, but his that's, next problem yeah, that's is unfortunate because he's definitely um, definitely was in for a win there. I was looking forward to the maybe the last lap or two of maybe three cars, the softer compounds coming <laughs> down. Oh no! And Spoke and the eel. Oh. Spoke gets a little wide, slippery eel there. I might it's just all jump happening to here it. for TDR. Let's jump on a replay of that. So yeah, let me know what happened. We're oh on God. board, on board with Eel at the moment. He has got the run coming up to the corkscrew. Again, he is a bit laggy. Shows the outside, backs off, but Spoke's gone a bit deep. And yeah, there's so just lag accounted. everywhere. There's, there's lag everywhere. For Spoke going deep. Yeah. Not sure if um yeah, it's just so hard to see what the contact was and whether Spoke was already losing it without him or not. But I mean, there goes Sefco's buffer, slippery Eel. Is, is going to range yeah. on the back of Stefko without having Stefko's teammate in the way, so it's going to be interesting well, to see if Spoke was going to play Rear Gunner or, or what. For those in chat, the few there, give the stream a like. I well, know no one listened to me the last few times. <laughs> uh, don't promote the leak then. Um, but yeah, <laughs> put, you put your bets on who's going to take out the win here. you got Hodes and uh, Con. So, Dam Racing versus uh, Drive 25, a Div 3 driver versus a newly promoted Div 3 driver. Um, Lap 23, sorry, just calling it out, I've just realised the overlay is a little high in the positioning, so we are on lap 23 for everyone watching. Although I think you can see that on the right hand side anyway. So yeah, so at the completion of this, we've got three laps to go. Um, Hodes with a slightly worse tyre wear, so. If they go off, I think Con may have a like. If nothing happens over the next lap or two, Con's going to have an all-out attack. I think for this last lap. Not that I want him to, because uh, both damn people in the commentary box here today. <laughs> but Hodes has been down in the dumps as well, so you know it'd be nice to see him uh, have a nice result tonight. Oh, definitely. Either um, way, podium's on the cards here. Slippery Eel, 1.1 behind Stefko, though. Three laps to go. Let's see how how uh, wide uh, TDR 86 becomes in this next lap or so. Because if these guys start to battle, it's not inconceivable the brutal four seconds back could potentially make the final lap a little bit interesting as well. Yeah, the Eel come up to Stefko earlier. So, is he going to make it here? Yeah, like you just Knuckles mentioned, you don't want the lag to play effect here in chat. So again, it's that he's been warned. <laughs> we did warn him; he was bouncing around a bit, but I'm not sure what he sees on his screen. So. Yeah, I mean, Broken Spoke was already track. pretty wide. Yeah, Spoke was already pretty wide. Is that it was hard to tell initially? No, but I'm really saying he, oh, so yeah, he's yeah, behind Stefko. Stefko, and the last thing you want to see is so Stefko has got. Yeah, ten percent on his. Oh no, wrong person, wrong way. Steph goes almost on dead tires. Oh man, I wouldn't want to be in issues right now. Yeah, it's a, a losing battle. You'd rather play the safe game, I think here. Oh, that oh, got very close. Yeah, it's a. If I was Steph go, I wouldn't be wanting to lose it. Like you, probably going to lose one position. You don't want to lose three or four. But if you hold each other up, is he going to break early and try the switch back? Uh, not on hards. Yeah. If he allows him to stay <laughs> there or thereabouts on hard, so yeah. Oh, uh, don't know if there's a bit of lag contact there. You, oh, see, that's the opposite Steph of it go. too. Like you got Stefko doing absolutely nothing wrong there, but Eel's lag is bouncing him back into Stefko. So, but Ten now you got two seconds back. That yeah. battling, like I said, that battling has cost brutal. It's literally rolling in that gap. Um, yeah, hi to Baker in the chat as well. Disregarding the question, I don't know how you're sober enough to type correctly at this point of time. Um, <laughs> up at the top of the mountain. Again, I hope everyone's having a great time up there. Um, and I think we will go back to the battle for first at the moment. Yep. So, about to come on to the last lap. 0.6 of a second, so this is where Hodes has got yeah 5% on his front right, I reckon. Con, about 10 to 15%. So you might be playing with your brake bias, might be going a little bit more to the rear for Hodes if I was him. Get a little bit more rotation. 
taking a bit of load off those front brakes. As you can see, he's going a little bit deep. But then you're also increasing your braking distances by going further to the rear for brake with the, the brake bias. So let's see if you can hold on here. Yeah, but I'm going to put my vote here anyway is uh, Con, driver of the day for this one. Yeah, he's kept it tidy, kept it consistent. So I'm sure these two battled even in Div 3 last season, and for Con to even be near Hodes, um, he'd be taking um, great comfort in that, and a lot of confidence I reckon as well, to take back to Div 3 next week. Oh, definitely. I got into a rare practice lobby on Friday, I think, for the first time. It was either Friday or yesterday. I actually saw Con in a practice lobby too for the first time in a couple of years. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if we're seeing Con of old come back in terms of getting a lot more seat time, man, he's, he's going to be danger for anyone. Div 2, Div 3, no matter what. So, and Hodes in VR as well. I reckon this corkscrew would be very nice in uh, VR. Oh, it is. Might, might create the motion sickness. <laughs> Uh, but he's marvelous. holding on here. This will be the one point where Con, if he's got the tyres, might be able to throw down the inside. He's shown the nose, but not quite there. Hodes has stayed composed. Uh, composed. And now it's still about getting that braking marker for the last corner. Oh, he's oh. got on the throttle early. Con got the um, run. I think it's too early. <laughs> Just nowhere to go. Uh, great racing for those two at the front there. Yeah. Um, and we've got Slippery Eel coming in third with a five second back to Brutal and so Brutal's got past Stefco there so just that was a s 18 seconds Stefco had on um, mm -hmm. Hodes and he's finished 14 seconds back well, well, yes he had that issue I think but yeah I think that battling cost Stefco in the start there so that's maybe a what could have been for Stefco but great driving anyway on the hards. Uh, followed by Bozza, Wrestler, Viper, Broken Spoke, Troy, Palmer, and we've got Armand's coming across the finish line. He's, yeah, I think he's glad he chose the mediums again because that right in the front's basically dead as well. So, yeah, there we have it. Um, nice finish. 2 at Laguna Seca. Definitely plenty of action there. Um, might be some steward investigations, you never know. Yeah, we'll see how the guys feel about it at the end of it. Uh, but no, great racing from the boys tonight. Um, great show, great performance, tough round. So yeah, it's uh, good to get that one out of the way and on to round five next week.